Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Well, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday, one of my favorite videos of the entire week. And if you're not sure what that is, Whip is Works in Progress. Caddy is these three tier carts, and um, we basically show off what kind of projects that we're working on in these carts. Well, this is... Um, not only where I show off what I have going on in my cart, but I get to show off what some of you viewers have going on in your carts because your crochet projects are just as important as my crochet projects. And I know how excited I feel to show my stuff off. So I can just imagine how excited you are for everyone to get to see what kind of projects that you're working on. So um, how about let's see what I'm having for breakfast this morning real quick. Alrighty guys, this is what I'm having for breakfast today. I have my good old coffee. It says, with Jesus in her heart, crochet hook in her hand. She is unstoppable. And that is from Janelle. Thank you so much for that. And I do have my hazelnut creamer in there this morning. I'm having an egg, some bacon, and a tortilla shell. So I'm having an egg burrito this morning with bacon in it. Okay, yeah, so whenever I finish with this video in here, I am going to go in there and make myself a burrito. <laughs> so yeah, just grab you a cup of coffee and grab you something to drink, eat, or whatever, and let's watch this little quick slideshow of some of you viewers, what all you have going on in your whip caddies. Now here we have Bryn's cart. Bryn has a Lego blanket, a blouse, and a ribbon yarn scarf that she's working on. And Bryn does have a YouTube channel called Yardy Things by Bryn. Go check it out. Now we have Rose's cart. And Rose, that's a beautiful top that you're working on. That must be what you have in that basket from um, one of my tutorials, my basket tutorial. And look at the yarn. You must have a really cool kit going on down there on the bottom. Now on Kathy's cart, I see a hat. It looks like maybe a shawl up there going on and some socks. How cool is that? Now, in Susanna's cart, she has a chevron blanket on top, a hopeful shawl in the middle, washcloths on the bottom, and on the left side on the bottom, she has a cardigan, and on the right side, another basket. Now, here's what Cheryl's got going on on her cart. She has a uh, happily hooked wrap on the top, a corner-to-corner -corner blanket in the middle, and her Tunisian project by Jaden Stitches on the bottom. Good going, Cheryl. Now, on Kathy's cart, she has um, a basket from my tutorial going on the top shelf. And the second shelf, she has an infinity scarf. And I'm not sure what she's got at the bottom, but she's got some nice colored yarns down there where she's working on something. And, um, Kathy, I hope you're enjoying my tutorial basket tutorial and Kathy that's a beautiful blanket in the back um is that the calming comfort blanket okay this next cart belongs to my sweet sister Tanya hello Tanya uh, Tanya is working on the little circle you see down at the bottom that is part of the octi throw that we are working on and um then she's working on a Halloween blanket that um, is from my tutorial Eleanor's Halloween blanket and the other thing she's working on is a corner-to-corner -corner blanket for her son, Brad. Okay, now we have Joey's cart. Now, Joey has a purple ombre shawl. That's beautiful, Joey. A lace doily and some beanies that she's working on for donation and a throw blanket. And, Joey, I'm so glad that you enjoy my words of encouragement that I have in my videos. I appreciate you letting me know that very much. And there's a green and beige colored basket on the right side that you see. That is so pretty, Joey. Now, Anna looks like she's got a lot of things going on on her cart. One thing that she says is that she is working on a Christmas afghan that she started in fall of 2020. She's working on the border and she's playing yarn chicken with some of Hershner's holiday pastry puff yarn that is no longer available. Mm, I totally understand that. But she said that she is pretty sure that she's going to make it one way or another. That's a girl. Yep, you got it. You go, girl. The flyery bag on the top shelf holds a hat project for a co-worker that is retired at the end of the year. Oh, that is so sweet. 
Now, Nikki just recently bought her. She said she was so inspired by everyone else's cart that she actually found this at Walmart. Now, at one time, I remember seeing some at Walmart, but then they just disappeared. So maybe Walmart is starting to sell them again. Guys, we'll have to be looking out for that. Um, one thing that she says, she enjoys my Monday chats and her, uh, my Whip Wednesdays. Dicky is working on two projects right now. They are both granny blankets that she's making for foster kids charity that she donates to. That is so sweet of you, Nikki. And she just uh, started an Instagram page. And if you'd like to go follow her, it's at n.elaine71. Yes, we will go do that for you, Nikki. Now, here we have Christine's cart. Um, Christine said that she got hers from Ikea. And, Christine, you got some beautiful cats up there. Oh, and I see a book behind it. it says, Cool Cats. Those are very cool cats. And I like those Valentine hearts that you have hanging there on your cart like that. That is so cute. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I love that segment of my videos. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have going on. I have a shawl pattern coming out. This will be Friday. No, this will be Thursday. Um, here it is. Yarn that I used for that. This is Caron Skinny Cake. And it's called Bluebells. And I used entire cake. So I think it's like 795 yards. I just kept crochet until it was all gone. Um, and I kind of like it like that. I like it uh, big like that. They're 100% acrylic. And guys, be sure and watch for my giveaway video. Because I'm going to give the pattern away. And... A uh, Caron Skinny Cake yarn to go with it. So that one of you lucky viewers will be able to make you one of these. And this one is called Birthday Cake. Um, because I have a birthday coming up. And in celebration of that, I'd like to give away a pattern and my birthday cake. Uh, Caron Skinny Cake. Okay, so one of the things that's on my cart is you guys had seen Knox's Blanket. I have been working on this for about a year. And it's the farm animal blanket. Right here. Man, does this smell good. I've washed it and it smells really good. So I had a couple of squares left over and I bought this 16 inch um, pillow form. And so here are the squares I had left over. I had um, a sheep and an owl. And so I went ahead and I'm going to put these diagonal and then one side's going to have blue and the other corner is going to have yellow. And I'm going to put that on the pillow and then the back side is going to be red and um, might as well make use. I didn't want my two extra farm animals to go to waste. <laughs> so that's what I did with that. And um, the red yarn is just scrap yarn. The blue yarn is ice yarn. And I will, on seaming these up, on the blanket, I crochet, single crocheted on the front side. On this one, I am going to do the slip stitch, the seaming with the yarn needle to seam this one up. I want the pillow to be a little bit more flat. So that's what I'm doing I did that. get a Mary Maxim monthly crochet kit in the mail. And it comes with these yarns. Here's the pattern very pretty. Uh, let's see what the yarn looks like. Hmm. I haven't worked with these yet. They're very pretty. It's really thin, I bet, isn't it? It'll be okay. So, it comes with that color. This. So, two, two of this color. Well, I don't know. Hold on. There's another package in here. Okay, so two of the dark blue, two of this lighter blue, and then two of the green top color. Anyway, so um, I am actually going to try that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it'd be beautiful. So, um, but these say that they're Red Heart, 239 yards in here. And um, this color is calming. Let's see. It is a super fine one, 92% cotton, 5% polyester, and 3% other fibers. So, and yeah, they're glittery. See? So yeah, 
I was actually pretty excited about that. I can't remember how much this is. Um, maybe $16.99? I'm not sure. I think it was something like that. But this is my first one. I do their monthly, no, I do their quarterly subscription of their Afghan kits. And I love those because they give so much yarn in that, that um, even if I don't like the pattern, the yarn will always go for something else. And it's, I think with tax, $34.99 with tax. I mean, with tax and shipping. So I really like it. But yeah, this one is uh, going to be a pineapple lace crochet shawl. And that was my first kit. That's marymaxim.com. Okay, so the other thing is, since Easter is coming, I guys, I am really going to try to make an Easter basket and put a tutorial out there. Um, I want to really make one for my grandbaby. And uh, my sister, she's wanting me to make some. <laughs> she keeps texting me, have you gotten a basket ready yet? You got a basket ready yet? No, I don't. Um, because I was working on finishing up that shawl. So that is one of the big projects I have coming up next is um, to try to make an Easter basket. It will be similar to the basket I have, you know, um, but I'm going to try to do something different to the sides. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. And um, for those Easter baskets, you know, I made my grandbaby the bunny, the elongated bunny. <laughs> And I'm also going to put in my niece's Easter baskets, you know how I have the tutorial for the lip balm holder. I will leave that link below if you haven't seen that. I'm using this ice yarn to make some little keychain lip balm holders for this. And uh, she gave me the lip things, lip balms. Anyway, so I'm using this. It's really pretty. I think it's nice and Eastery. Um, it says Remini color, 100% acrylic, made in Turkey ice yarns. So anyway, so that's on my hook. And Ella, with no catchy name, hi Ella, she was showing um, some little cute little Amis. And so one of, some of them were crayons. And so I thought, well, I wanna make some of those crayons. Those are cute. Uh, so I'm gonna make a few of those and maybe she, there was a pencil in there. I'm going to make a pencil. I think that'd be cute in there. The thing is, I think I'm a little hooked on the diamond art painting. I did receive from Arteza a light pad and two, um, what do you call them? And two diamond paintings. And um, I'm really liking it. So what I did is, cause they're really big. What I did is I went and pulled out one that I had bought like a year ago from Leisure Arts. This I had think I bought from Ho um, Hobby Lobby. But isn't it pretty? I finished it. I had started it, but I did not, uh, I think I may have just had a few things around here and I was after messing with all that stuff that they had given me um, and then of course constantly watching everyone's videos that do these things I was like you know I really need to give that a second try so um, last night that's what I did I got that little light pad out put this on it and um, that's what I did I finished it and not only that, I did start one of the uh, kits that they did send me. One of the, uh, I think it was, yeah, they're both beach scenes. So I started one of the beach scenes. It's mostly all blue. Um, and then it has the sunset is what it mostly is. So I can't wait to show that to you guys. Um, this one come from, like I said, Hobby Lobby. And there was a hook. No, it's not a hook. <laughs> There was uh, the drill holder or whatever, this thing right there, whatever that thing is. Um, see that? It has that little thing right there. This was so much more nicer than the one Arteza. Or one Arteza had, I found myself, uh, one the part where you hold it kept like indenting in my skin right there. And um, it had a little bit of sharp, mm, I don't know, uneven edge on it I guess you could say and so I found myself going back to that one I think maybe it would be okay probably if it had one of those probably if it had one of these right here on it that's probably all it needs um 
So I will go back to using that. Um, I'm going to try that on Arteza's one. But anyway, it was so much Actually, fun. Guys, I'm really not sure about the framing part of the diamond painting. I'm not sure like how expensive this is going to be. Um, I do know that um, Jean from On The Hook Crochet, that she does this diamond art club. And so I went and checked it out and oh my gosh, they have some beautiful diamond art paintings in there. And I would like to do some of the, uh, she had talked about a nativity scene. I would really like to do something like that. But um, I'm really not sure about how expensive the framing part is going to be. So I don't know how deep I want to get into this. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look into that part of it. Okay, guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Restraint. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? That's Matthew 26, 52 and 53. Lord, when I am quick to react, even to injustice, would you give me a heart of discernment to remain true to your kingdom's ways? As I walk with you, meditating on your word, may I become more like you. Thank you, Jesus, that you are not a bully. You never took everything by force or by demanding attention. Everything you did was done by respect for people's humanity and dignity, even when you challenged them. Lord, when I feel a gut reaction happening, help me to run into a place of peace. Fill my mind with your words that bring clarity, not confusion. May I be a harbinger of your peace that brings calm to chaos. Let me not be swept up in the passion of the moment, but may I remain steady in your love. And when I mess up, may I be quick to ask for forgiveness and even quicker to forgive those around me. Thank you for your grace that empowers and enables me to become more like you. Are you trying to do for God through force what he could do on his own but chooses not to? That is really nice one. I enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did, too. So, guys, that is all that I have. Just the diamond art painting I'm working on. Finishing up Knox's blanket. Uh, making the lip balm holders. Um, like I said, I do have a little short, a small giveaway that I've got going on. Or I will have going on. I re I'm releasing the tutorial. Um, let's see. I just know there's something else. Um, oh yes, I am making a rug for, to go in front of this chair. So that's a tutorial. I have that coming out and, um, yeah. Oh yeah. If you like this that I'm wearing, this is one of my designs. It's the, uh, easy crochet granny cardigan, granny stitch cardigan, something like that. <laughs> I'll leave the link below if you like this. So yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Remember guys to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.